chances are you've heard of Bitcoin or the term cryptocurrency, but do you know what it is? Well, Bitcoin is a form of crypto created and held electronically. The concept of crypto is based on the premise that money doesn't have to be printed physically. Bitcoin is the first and most well-known crypto, but there's an entire ecosystem developing around new blockchain technologies. Today, we'll dig into the basics about crypto by taking a look at some of the latest innovations and trends. More importantly, we'll meet some of the major leaders in the space, especially women. If you want to learn about crypto and rub shoulders with the who's who in the crypto sphere, then Bitcoin Miami is the place to be. I only wish I could wait for the thousands of people who are standing out there to come inside to hear my speech because I want everybody to hear this. The two day extravaganza put on by Bitcoin magazine is so popular, lines stretch around the block to simply get into the event. And with speakers like Jack Dorsey, Tony Hawk, Michael Saylor, Caitlin Long, and Sam Bankman Freed, you can see why. By the way, this is why this conference is so incredible. You guys are in a moment in history. We're all in a moment in history in the, in the center of this whole thing that's transforming the world into a digital world. And Bitcoin is in the center of it. It's incredible. Incredible. With the playful air of a music festival combined with the more serious nature of a business conference, crypto enthusiasts from around the world discuss the ways in which digital currency is not only transforming the way we save, spend, and trade, but the ways in which we make money and create. So Bitcoin is the world's first truly decentralized digital cryptocurrency. It means that Bitcoin's out there is not controlled by any company, not controlled by any government. So it's really the people's money. It's been around for a little over 12 years. It's been tremendously successful. It's recently reached $1 trillion in value, and I think it's going to go up much more in value. Bobby Lee recently wrote a book called The Promise of Bitcoin. He says it's a simple guide to crypto for everyday people. I'm a big believer in Bitcoin for the masses. Today, only a very small amount of people on this planet learn about Bitcoin, <laughs> cryptocurrency, and blockchain. And I would hope that more people, more women, more people from all over the world in different countries get involved because Bitcoin is not an English American. It's not for men only. It's really for the, glo for the world to use. Uh, it's a very enabling technology that allows people to have money in their own hands. Many of the attendees, exhibitors, and speakers at the conference are focused on optimizing the technology to send, receive, and store crypto so that it becomes easier for the masses to adopt and use. If you have a cell phone, you can be your own banker. And that's what Bitcoin does for unbanked communities, people on Indian reservations, people in poor neighborhoods, if they, if they are not banked, they can be their own banker using their cell phone. And that is one of the great egalitarian, wonderful things about Bitcoin that I'm so excited about. For some, the concept of crypto is much deeper than a digital currency. It is truly a movement. Right? Already it's the single most widely held asset outside the U.S. dollar. Uh, right? 150 million people own a Bitcoin or a piece of a Bitcoin. Uh, nothing's like, nothing like that has existed before. Jack Mahler's founder of Strike became very emotional when he broke news that El Salvador would become the first country to officially use Bitcoin as legal tender. And today I hope we all can celebrate the resilience and strength of humanity and the direction that we're bending humanity towards. Today's a really special day. So I guess the question for many of you is, how do you buy cryptocurrency and where do you store it? What do you do with it once you have your crypto? For some of those answers, we turn to Sarah Potter, Chief Education Officer at TradeStation Group. So what TradeStation Crypto is, is an opportunity for people to, to be engaged in learning and education about how to trade, as well as to be able to execute those trades in the various coins. And Potter realizes there's a learning curve, a curve she is ready to help people navigate. 
Potter is a self-taught trader, an entrepreneur who left a traditional job in education to start her own business. She then sold that business to TradeStation and now works with them on building the business. Being a female trader myself, it's very intimidating sometimes because there aren't a lot of us out here in the public talking about how you can do this. So one, I think it's important that more women are out here talking about it, saying you can do this too, but also providing a playing field of learning where everybody can get the knowledge they need to be able to apply that to the trading that works best for them. So how do you physically buy crypto and where do you put it? And what do you do with it? Well, Sarah says, if you want to buy cryptocurrency, you need to transact your crypto purchase. First, you can do that by opening up an account at Coinbase, FTX, Gemini, or Binance. And that's where you can buy, hold, and trade crypto. Then you need to decide what type of crypto you want to invest in, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDC, Litecoin, or maybe even Doge. Each day, many traders consult CoinGecko to see which cryptos are up and down and which sectors are popping off like gaming, DeFi, or NFTs. Next, decide what your trading plan is going to be, how you're going to gather evidence to decide what you want to trade and how. There are many communities out there, especially on social media, where people are learning and sharing ideas. You Can Trade is one of those communities. With traders and coaches, you have the opportunity to watch live trades and chat with other people and even receive trade alerts. For Sarah, it's about empowering everyone, especially women, with the financial tools they need to thrive. The first thing I want all women to realize is that you can do this. This is just like any other skill. Think about riding a bike or driving a car. You get to a level of automaticity and you can do that in this space as well. It's about taking it one step at a time, thinking about who you are and what your goals are and making sure you're aligned with that and understanding that it's not necessarily gonna happen tomorrow, but just like with everything else you do, you can get there. Coming up next on Women in Crypto, we are going to talk about wallets. No, not the wallet in your back pocket, but specific cryptocurrency wallets to store your crypto and keep it safe. That's coming up next. Live to advance. Live for the climb. Live for your goals. Live for your girl. Live with flexibility. Live for opportunity. Live your story at Malloy College. At Malloy, you can earn a graduate degree in today's most in-demand fields. And with flexible online and hybrid schedules, you can advance your career your way. Visit malloy.edu slash graduate to learn more and apply. So you've made that crypto purchase and you want to keep your coins safe. What are your options? Well, if you buy crypto on Coinbase or Robinhood or Gemini, you can always store it on their servers. However, these are custodial wallets where you don't hold the keys. And as the saying goes, not your keys, not your crypto. The next option is what's called a software wallet, something like MetaMask or Trust Wallet, which are free and you download those from the internet. But what is really growing in popularity are the cold storage hardware wallets like Nano Ledger, Exodus, and Arculus. In fact, we sat down with the team at Arculus to learn firsthand how their unique system works. The Arculus is a metal card with a secure element inside that stores the private keys to your wallet. So instead of an exchange or other online connected wallet like MetaMask having the keys to your crypto, you have them physically. Because the Arculus isn't connected to the internet, the keys within are completely safe from hackers. This type of crypto storage is described as cold storage because the keys aren't stored online. Arculus is a hardware wallet for securely storing your cryptocurrency. You generate and store your private keys directly on the card. So it's not on a cloud, it's not connected to anything, and it cannot be hacked. What we like to say is your keys, your crypto. With Arculus, your wallet can't be unlocked and your crypto can't even be accessed without the card itself. Transactions are done through the Arculus app and require three-factor authentication, your biometrics, so your face or fingerprint, a PIN code that you create during setup, and finally, the Arculus card, which you use to tap against your phone. But Kristen, I already yeah. have a Nano Ledger. Why, why isn't that good enough? 
Arculus has a super easy to use user interface where you can view your assets and interact with them whenever you want on the go. You can take your card with you and there's no tiny buttons or tiny screens that you have to fidget with. If you want to move your crypto somewhere else, it takes less than a minute. So you might ask, well, what if I lose my Arculus? The answer to that is pretty simple. When you first launch the Arculus app, which you can get from the Android or Apple store, you're given a 12 word secret phrase that can be used to recover your keys. Write it down and keep it somewhere safe, like at home or in a safety deposit box. So if you ever lose your Arculus, you can just punch the secret phrase into the Arculus app and recover your private keys. There are several cold storage solutions out there, but Arculus is unique in how simple and easy it is to use. There's no charging or wires, and you don't need a computer to use it. It's just a credit card sized piece of metal, which, may I add, looks and feels great. Kristen says she loves being a woman in crypto and that she is proud to be breaking boundaries. While we may not be seeing a lot of women leading companies, women are entering the space as employees and investors. According to analysts, the number of women in the industry increased by 43% in the first quarter of 2020. Rachel Wolfson has witnessed the changes firsthand as a blockchain and crypto journalist writing in the space since 2017. It's interesting because, you know, this space needs more women. I think a lot of tech spaces need more women. But the thing about blockchain and cryptocurrency is it's an open, it's an open space. It's, it's an open ecosystem and it's very inviting. And it doesn't matter, you know, race, ethnicity, gender. Um, that's not the point of this space. The point is you bring valuable skills to this space. So women, you know, as women, we have a variety of skills. Um, you could be an engineer, you could be a developer, you could have great marketing skills, PR, um, HR skills. We need that in this space. This space is so new and it's growing and evolving that all the, you know, we need all of these skills right now. Wolfson says a lot of people are fearful when it comes to entering the space in that they think they don't know anything about blockchain or that they don't know anything about cryptocurrency. But she insists you don't need to be an expert to begin. When I started writing about blockchain in 2017, I knew nothing about it. But it was so fascinating to me. I kept learning and learning and learning. And over time, you just you grow and you develop that skill set um, to the point where you can say, wow, I know a lot about it. But I think women need to understand that this is an open space. It doesn't discriminate and, and just not to be scared to bring that those skill sets to the space. You do not have to be technical. If you are technical, that's awesome. That's great. You don't have to be, though. While Wolfson says she simply started out covering crypto as a story, she says she's become a true believer in its future. I view it as an asset class. I view it as something that allows me to have financial freedom, which is extremely important, especially being a woman. Um, just just having Bitcoin and holding on to it and seeing that um, portfolio growth is it's amazing. And so I encourage all women into the space. If you have the opportunity, um, you know, start looking into Bitcoin and, and you don't have to own one Bitcoin. Keep that in mind. You can own bits of Bitcoin and uh, build up. You could own $50 worth of Bitcoin, it doesn't matter. But as long as you have a little bit, you still get to experience that financial freedom feeling, which is amazing. And it, it appeals to everyone, men, women, you know, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Coming up next, we'll take a look at TikTok and the powerful influencers who are introducing people around the world to crypto. Plus, we'll take you to Crypto Mondays, where multimillionaires rub shoulders with up and coming crypto enthusiasts. That's coming up next. The world has always tried to keep us in place, telling us just behave, act like this, look like them, don't do that. It's time for an evolution. Crypto and this new era of wealth creation should be open to everyone. I've joined OKCoin's advisory council to support that mission and bring more women into the world of crypto. So yes, we know our place. It's time the rest of the world did too. The idea of owning just a little bit of crypto or an NFT is an idea that is booming in popularity with people on the social media platform TikTok. 
The app has a growing community of individuals who are sharing information, tips, and scams to look out for. We caught up with some of the biggest personalities in the space who were on hand in Miami for the Bitcoin conference. When crypto influencer Mac Lorden posted this TikTok video asking what he and other male influencers could do to help bring more women into crypto, the response was immediate and enthusiastic. I want to change that. Cryptocurrency is an opportunity for everyone, not just the dudes. But it seems like every time I have a conversation with somebody on the outside about crypto, more likely than not, they're going to be a dude. So how do we fix this? Uh, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you guys. Many on the platform responded to Mac's call, recommending women who create crypto-related content. They also suggested ideas on how to build a more open crypto community where women feel confident to participate. TikToker Sage Galaxy gave her perspective on why women have, until now, shied away. I agree. There are not enough women in cryptocurrency. And I'm really glad that you asked this question. Women have been implicitly and explicitly discouraged from going into careers that focus on STEM, science, technology, engineering, math. It's seen as more masculine, so women don't get into it as much. So women see guys with big computer setups and talking about charts, and they think, this isn't for me. Influencer Blockchain Boy explained how difficult it can be for a woman to be a crypto content creator. It's not a very friendly space for women content creators to just be, you know, making videos. They're going to get objectified to people aren't going to take them seriously. Go look at the original comments in the video I'm replying to. It's evident. There was like a rallying call because I was like, man, there's got to be more women in crypto. And, and a bunch of them came and were like recommended to me. Do you know why there aren't very many women in crypto? Neither do I, and I'm about to change that. I'm Peach, I'm an NFT, and I live in the metaverse. I created this page predominantly for females so we can learn how to make money in the crypto industry together. Hello, my student. Thank you for this question. Cryptocurrency is just a digital form of currency, kind of like how a debit or credit card is a digital form of your money. When you get paid via direct deposit, the company you work for doesn't actually send the bank a check or an envelope of cash. They just verify the company account has enough money to pay you, and then your bank records the amount and tax it onto your total. It's really just sending numbers back and forth and keeping track of transactions and totals. Cryptocurrency is the same concept minus the middleman. And yeah, right now I can Venmo you money directly. But if I Venmo to you $100 on a Friday, you probably wouldn't see that money till Monday or Tuesday because it still takes days for banks to communicate with one another and they're closed on weekends. With crypto, I can just send you money directly by entering your wallet address and it would instantly be verified and show up on your end because blockchain verifies the transaction and keeps a public ledger. Like a single source of truth so we can avoid communicating between two different systems. There is one woman, however, who needs no introduction, Wendy O. The superstar influencer has a huge following across TikTok and YouTube, where she hosts The O Show. She's also prominently featured on the uber-popular BitBoy Crypto YouTube channel. On the channel's popular show around the blockchain, you can often find Wendy going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the guys breaking down price movements and charts. Do you mind pulling up your charts and letting the folks know at home where we are, what you're thinking and what you're seeing in the uh, in the charts. Of course I can. And this Thank is something you. that we've talked about on the show many, many, many times. And we're in a range between about $52,000 to approximately 45.6. And I'm looking for a breakout of 52,000 or a breakdown of about $45,000. But women who garner large followings like Wendy O commonly face sexism. She does amazing TA. She has helped me become the creator I am today. I owe a lot to Crypto Wendio, but people objectify the shit out of her because she's a woman. But the women are joining forces and banding together with the help of male influencers who want crypto to be inclusive. But I mean, ever since you made the video just regarding just different crypto women in the space, honestly, it, it shocks me how many there are. So I think it's just slowly just being more adopted. So if you are a woman in the NFT space or like crypto world at all, um, can we be friends? Can we be friends? Because none of my friends know what the f I'm talking about. Many of these influencers are the first ones to hear about NFT projects, DeFi projects, and upcoming token launches. NFTs are certainly one subject in particular that has drawn the attention of people around the world. Kay Anangonio has more on this exciting space. Hey, what's up? I'm Kay. I'm a photographer, videographer, and I'm actually the one editing this video right now. 
So I am relatively new to the NFT space. As a photographer, I want to mint some of my NFTs, but before we get into that and the women of the NFT space, I'm actually gonna throw it over to my friend, Mr. Rolze, who is an NFT artist, to explain to you what an NFT actually is. Yeah, basically NFTs are, you just, you just upload your work on the blockchain and then um, you, collectors or other artists can bid on your work and purchase your work straight away and then once they purchase it like that basically gets sent to their uh, wallet and then it just sits there forever <laughs> so like he said nfts are non-fungible tokens they are minted digital assets and what that basically means is that there's a piece of art that is minted or put on the blockchain and then you can buy sell and trade them super cool concept and it's still a very small thing that is in existence it's a new thing and 98 percent of the people on this planet don't even know what crypto is much less nfts so it's a very new space so women out there that are watching this it is time for you to get in early one of the biggest nft projects is actually world of women you might have heard about this recently uh creators like logan paul have about 40 of these digital assets so Logan Paul actually just sold one of his World of Women NFTs for, I think, 12 Ethereum. So there's a lot that can be done in this space, and it's very, very exciting. So get in early if you can. So I actually interviewed another NFT artist named Kid8, and I wanted to have him also talk about NFTs and the space. This is the only one of these that exists. If it's a one of one, or it might be a one of ten. So this is the only one of these that exists. And as long as you own the token, that is yours. So at the moment, I think it's still in its infancy as far as artists and designers using it. But it seems to be the collectors that are buying are using it as either a store of wealth, as you would do with Bitcoin, or as a status symbol. So the other cool thing about NFTs that I'll touch on just a little bit here at the end of my segment is the metaverse. So there's a new thing called meta fashion that is being created. And it's basically a skin for a video game character or an avatar. And what this will allow you to do, the goal for meta fashion is that you buy the NFT asset, the digital skin for your character or avatar, and you'll be able to use that skin on any video game or platform that you go on. It will just transfer over. We just recently saw Xbox acquire Activision and a bunch of other gaming platforms. So the hope is that this meta fashion makes its way through the different gaming systems and is compatible cross channel. But that's a little bit about the NFT space. I hope you guys like this. I'm Kay and I'll see you guys soon. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks, Allison. Back to you. Thanks, Kay. Well, there are more and more cryptocurrency millionaires in New York. And when they're not trading, they love to mingle. One of their favorite places to hang out is at the weekly Crypto Mondays events held around the city. We were on hand at a recent meetup that is now growing worldwide. A financial system predicated on the idea that you own your stuff. Every Monday, DeFi and NFT enthusiasts in New York gather to talk with like-minded people who have their fingers on the pulse of crypto. You don't have to be an expert, though, and anyone who wants to learn more about the subject is welcome to attend. Attendee Sierra Williams told us why she thinks meetups like this are important. Cryptocurrency almost seems like a like a club at a certain point. And so if you're not educated in a certain way, um, it, it's it sometimes feels impossible to really learn and know what to do, what not to do. But um, putting yourself in events like this are a prime example of how you can gain that knowledge for sure. So globally, there are more than 25,000 members, and it's, it's growing quite rapidly again. You know, it turns out that the crowd at Crypto Mondays closely tracks the, the price of crypto. <laughs> That's lead organizer and founder Lou Kerner on the overwhelming response Crypto Mondays has received. What started as a simple idea to create a space for people to chat about crypto has exploded in popularity. Now there are weekly gatherings across the country and Crypto Monday meetups are being held worldwide in cities like London, Paris and Tokyo. The lineup of innovators at this weekly Crypto Monday gathering included Kavya Krishna, the chief executive officer at the Society of Women Coders, a nonprofit fighting the battle of access for women in tech. We work in Zambia, Kenya, 
Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, Belize, Haiti. And we work with these girls that don't have access to like opportunities, don't have access to information. So teaching them about what is crypto, the mere basics, or even introducing them to the world of like crypto is a big asset. It's a big addition in their life. We also caught up with Evan McMullen, co-founder of Certo, a company focused on using blockchain technology to empower users by giving them control over their data and privacy. Do not put data about yourself on the blockchain. Do not put God. data about other people on the blockchain. Oh my and so God. the magic of cross-chain interoperability and off-chain data is that we can scale the off-chain internet smart. without very any gas fees. Fee. Finally, we asked Sierra for her gauge on where the crypto space is headed. Bullish or bearish? Oh my. <laughs> I think probably a little bit of both, as most things are. <laughs> so true. So whether you're a bull or a bear, or maybe you're just thinking about dipping your toes into the crypto market, we hope we've shown you how cryptocurrency and blockchain technology work. And not just in the world of finance, so how quickly will all these changes take place? Depends on who you ask, but there's one thing for sure. This is an industry that is evolving quickly with plenty of opportunities for women. Women who are willing to look forward to see the possibilities that are out there. This is just the beginning of our crypto journey and we certainly hope you will join us along the way as we learn more about this exciting and yes, unpredictable space. Until next time, I'm Allison Hans. Thank you so much for joining us.